Throughout my entire coding journey up until this point, I thought it would take a very long time to learn code. I mean like a year or two to learn code. However, I read this book called The Science of Rapid Skill Acquisition a couple of months ago, and I will tell you, the stuff in that book is life-changing. But before getting into the different tactics to learning code, let's talk about the process of learning. And again, in this book, The Science of Rapid Skill Acquisition, the author notes how there are four steps to the process of learning. So there is unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, unconscious competence, and finally, unconscious competence. And I know it sounds a little confusing, so let's just walk through each thing. So the first thing is unconscious incompetence. Simply put, here is where you don't know what you don't know. This is like your first few weeks of learning code where you are just showing up to a lesson and you don't really know how code works, what coding works and what you actually need to study. Essentially, you don't know what you don't know. You have no idea what's going on or what you need to learn. The next part of the learning process is conscious incompetence. Essentially, you know what you don't know. At this point, you're probably a month or two in into learning code. And here is where you kind of know what you need to learn to get to your end goal. And in terms of programming, at this point, we don't know how to actually write code, but we do know what we need to do. So for example, a web developer at this point will know that he needs to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but doesn't know how to do it yet. And the third part of the learning process is conscious competence. Similar to conscious incompetence, I'm sorry, it's getting way too confusing, but similar to the last step, here you're starting to know what you know. So in terms of code, maybe you've made a couple of awful websites. And at this point, you kind of have an idea of uh, what you know and some aspects of code. And finally, the last part of the learning process is unconscious competence. Here is where you absolutely know what you know. Here you're like a master developer that can make crazy programs and is just a master of the art of coding. And now that we know the process of learning, we are now able to take the right steps to reach that mastery goal. I call this the mastery method because as soon as I implemented this, I started to get closer and closer to mastery. They are the 80-20 rule, project-based learning, repetition, and finally deliberate practice. So the first part of learning code fast is the 80-20 rule. Simply put, all it means is that 80% of the results in anything in life comes from 20% of the work. So in a company, it could be that 20% of employees yield 80% of the profit in a company. And for code, that is 20% of the things we actually do yield that most results. And I don't wanna bore you to death, but by focusing on that 20%, we're able to yield more results with the same amount of work because we're focusing on the things that yield us the better results. And the thing that yields us the most results is learning by watching a tutorial or a video or a lesson and then applying through projects or a personal endeavor. And for you watching this, instead of like reading books on code and doing all these nonsensical things that don't really yield you much results, Focus your efforts on the select few things, such as doing your free code camp lessons and doing tutorials online. That way you're getting so much results from the least amount of actual effort. Now the next aspect of learning code faster is project-based learning. And this builds on top of the 80-20 rule, but project-based learning is one of my favorite things of all time. So for you watching, you might be saying like, but I don't know how to code in this or how am I supposed to do projects? Look, they don't have to be the biggest projects in the world. You don't have to build the next Google. By project-based learning, I simply mean once you've learned something online, like you did a lesson on for loops or did some variables lesson or whatever that may be, Take that and apply it through a project. It challenges you to actually build something of value and challenges your actual uh, knowledge on code. And trust me, you will be challenged because you're gonna run into a lot of errors. And I actually did a study on how much you retain of what you've learned with like different ways of learning. And reading was at the bottom, like 10%. You only retain like 10% of what you read. And they found that you retain like 75% of what you've learned. You literally remember 75% of what you've learned if you apply it through a project. So do a project. It doesn't have to be crazy. The next way to learn code faster is deliberate practice. Editor Nazar here. Um, I realized that I said deliberate practice in the repetition section. I meant repetition. So this entire section 
is repetition, all right? Sorry about that. This is one of my favorite parts of this mastery method because it's so doable for anyone. I don't know who needs to tell you this, but code every day. You're better off coding one hour, seven days a week than seven hours, one day a week because your brain is like your actual physical muscles. For it to make connections with what you've learned, you have to constantly feed it the right amount of information and the right amount of effort. And look, I know we're not like a gym channel, we're a programming channel, but in the gym world, it's quite common knowledge that the ideal amount of times to work out per week is like five to six times. Because when you work out right, like your muscles break down. That's literally what's happening. You're like tearing your muscles a little bit. And if you give yourself too much space between your workouts, maybe for working out once a week, you're not providing that constant tension to your muscles to grow. But if you space out your workouts, you're not only allowing yourself to rest the right amount if you're doing it every other day, but you're allowing your muscles to tear consistently, thus making your muscles grow more. So in the coding practice, okay, try your best to consistently learn and consistently like schedule when you are coding. And the final way to learn and code fast is deliberate practice. I don't know who needs to hear this, but turn your phone off while you are coding. During your coding sessions, you should be so focused and so lasered in that no one could distract you. So much so that if like a war broke out, you would still be coding and you wouldn't even notice. And if you do like two hours of actual focused work, you will get more done in that two hours than you would have in like a five or six hour coding session because you're allowing yourself to get into that deep work state where you are in the flow, you're able to actually learn more information because you're in the zone. And because of the lack of distractions, you're able to do more work. Remove notifications off your phone. If anything, remove your phone when you are coding and just sit at your desk and do the work while you're in that session. If you want coaching, I'll leave that in the description below. And if you like this video, then you'll love the video on the screen. Peace.